Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Okay, today we're working on a Fisher & Paykel top load washing machine and the customer complaint with it is it's ripping, tearing some of uh, the clothing that they're putting in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the lid, get it out of the way here. Just pull up straight on that at an upright position. And we're gonna inspect uh, the basket, the agitator, see what can be causing the clothes to rip. Um, agitator seems to be good and in place. Uh, can't really feel any damaged components here that would cause clothing to get caught underneath the agitator. The fins are all in place and everything's good there. Um, so upon looking at the basket, we can see and feel we got some sharp edges here on the basket underneath here where the plastic meets the metal portion of the basket and that can be causing the, the clothes to rip. I don't see anything else in here. Um, that would be causing that. So uh, for this repair, we're gonna need to replace our basket. For this repair, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat blade screwdriver. All right, so to replace our basket, first thing we gotta do is remove our top panel here. Uh, there's gonna be two screws on either side, one on either side that we gotta remove. There are rubber um, grommets or rubber covers that go here. Um, to, to, to cover up the screws. So they're missing on this one, but you would just need a flat blade screwdriver just so they just pop out. Uh, so you just pry it out real quick and that's all you gotta do there. So Phillips screw that we'll remove over here. All right, so now we can just lift up on the panel here and we're just gonna tip it back against the wall right here. Now, if you're in a place that you don't, you're not able to tip this panel back, you can remove this top panel very easily. There's these two plastic tabs that will just get pushed through. You push on the tab and just push it straight through the back of the cabinet. The only thing is, is uh, you have your wire harness hooked up that goes up to the control board along with your pressure switch. So you'd have to take the control panel off and just remove your harnesses and pressure switch and then you can completely uh, remove this top panel if you need to. Okay, so um, next step is either or we can remove the tub ring or we can remove the agitator at this point. Um, I guess what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and remove our agitator. So to do that, we have the fabric softener cup that just pulls up and off very easily. And then down inside, we have a plastic wing nut that um, we can loosen and tighten with our hands. So we're just gonna come down here, we're gonna go counter, counterclockwise with it and it should like I said just loosen up by your hand and then we'll remove the nut there and the agitator will pull straight up and off now all right next we're gonna remove our tub ring and first thing we'll do to remove that is remove the spring that's attached to it here uh, this clip here we're just gonna take a flat blade screwdriver push in on it kind of pry up on the left side and then on the right side, and it'll come right out of there. So we'll keep that over here to the side. All right, so next we just gotta release the tabs all the way around to remove the tub ring. And to do that, you can uh, either use a flat blade screwdriver and get it in here underneath it and just pry outward and it'll release it. This tub ring is not bad at all. You can just kind of pry it, pry it out with your fingers. Other ones are hard and it's tough on your hand so you can use the screwdriver but so we're just pulling out on the tub ring and lifting up to release all the tabs and then now the tub ring will come off all right at this point the basket can be removed we're just going to grab it and lift straight up off of the shaft and remove it all right take our new basket assembly here and reinstall it. Just gotta line it up with the shaft there and drop right down. Make sure it's seated down all the way. And then now, and now we can replace our tub ring. All right, so we have on the tub ring here, we have this little notch out here that's gonna go over our hose. So we're gonna go ahead and just line that up correctly. 
get it all lined up and then just push down and lock each tab into place all the way around it. Okay, next our agitator can go in. And the agitator has splines on the bottom here and they just line up with the splines on the shaft. Just push that down as far as it'll go and reinstall the wing nut. And you're just gonna wanna get this hand tight. Once it tightens up, it'll just, it'll stop. You don't wanna crank it any further or anything since it is a plastic nut. And then the fabric softener cap just goes back on. Push it down and it'll stay there. All right, next we can bring down our top panel here. Just make sure it's seated on there correctly and we can reinstall our two Phillips screws. And this is where we would reinstall our two rubber caps if we had them. And last is just reinstalling our lid. Just gonna go vertical here with it, line it up, just let it slide down on there all the way and just open and close it. Make sure it's good to go and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.